very, very bright. Uh, welcome to the Rack and Power track. Um, my name is Colin Dupre. With me, I have Stephen and Ted Tang. Uh, we're the newly elected leadership of the Rack and Power Group. Um, so, how about some introductions, Steve? Hello, I'm Stephen Moore. Um, I'm the OCP project lead for Rack and Power now. Um, I currently work at Ritao as a global account manager. Um, I, for the last five years, I've been a project manager leading the ORV3 Rack project. Um, so, yeah, looking forward to this challenge and nice to meet you all today. Hi, everybody. Good morning. My name is uh, Ted Tang. I'm working at Meta as a power engineer, working on power rack project uh, design and development. Uh, happy to see everybody here. And I'm Colin Dupre. I'm the vice president of technical operations for Sony PlayStation. Uh, specifically, I oversee all of PlayStation's kind of cloud gaming infrastructure. Um, I'm fairly new to OCP and I'm happy to be here. Uh, before we move on, we wanted to recognize the, the prior leadership. If you could please stand up. Caleb and Steve, uh, they, they left some very, very big shoes to fill. They accomplished so much uh, and um, we're, we're happy for all the work that they did. So yeah, here, obviously recently, some of you are aware, we, some of the tracks have, have separated from each other. So Rack and Power um, has recently lost the cooling side of things, and that's got its own track because of the volume of work that's work happening there. So we just wanted to reframe the focus of the Rack and Power uh, track now with a high-level summary of the topics that will be included and discussed today. So first off, we have design of rack systems, including 19-inch equipment and uh, hyperscale optimized architectures. Also methods of deploying loaded rack solutions within data centers. Scalable power solutions within the rack, including buzz bars and cable solutions. Data and power interconnects between IT gear and rack level infrastructure. Rack level power solutions with a range of redundancy capacity options to meet differing needs. And finally, sub level rack chassis supports IT trays, cooling, power, and management functions. Okay, so the first topic today it will be the overview of OpenRack v3 base specification, and followed by ORV3 project update which is a meta open uh, Rack V3 project. At 9, 10 a.m., uh, we will talk about the ORV3 AC WIP power cable development. The next one is uh, efficiency improvements and other developments in ORV3 power solutions. Google will do the, their introduction about their open Rack V3 and also uh, Andy from WinWin -Win will talk about their ORV 348 volt system power architecture and uh, HSC design. 10.50 a.m., uh, there's a topic about OCP ORV 3 liquid cooled bus bar by TE. And then three of us will do the closing remarks. Here's kind of a call to action, how to get involved. We have the project calls every second Wednesday of the month, the mailing list, the wiki, specs and design. Um, certainly, please ask questions during this. Please participate. Um, if we don't have the answers to it, I'm sure we can find someone that does. Uh, we're totally interested in your input. Um, we've kind of come to the end of a bit of an arc on ORV3, and we have to kind of figure out what to do next and what improvements we need to make, and we're looking for community input. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys. Thank you.